What's up guys, Action here. What I have now is the MSI MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi, a motherboard that is best paired with a new AMD Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. In this video, we're gonna test it, talk about the motherboard's features and design, as well as show you some benchmarks with the AMD Ryzen 7 9700X so that you guys know how this configuration performs in games and workloads. So first, let's talk about the motherboard, the MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi. It supports the newest AM5 CPUs like the Ryzen 9000 series and is still backward compatible with previous generation Ryzen 8000, 7000 series chips. Sporting the highest tier X870E chipset, this motherboard has twice the number of PCIe lanes, USB 4, and SATA ports compared to the lower X870 chipset. It also supports the latest gen hardware like PCIe Gen 5 for both the graphics card and storage devices as well as DDR5 memory. Design-wise, we have a predominantly carbon black and gray color scheme with some bits of mystic-like RGB lighting on the M.2 heatsink and on the I.O. shroud with MSI's Dragon logo. Ideally, mas madali itong i-pair on most Steam PC builds since it has a neutral color scheme. And while the MPG line of products is considered the mid-tier amongst MSI product lineup of gaming motherboards, this motherboard is not lacking in terms of features. And in fact, you'll get some of the best ones with this motherboard. There's 18 plus 2 plus 1 Duet Trail power system along with a 110 amp smart power stage for overclocking higher-end AMD CPUs either through MSI's exclusive performance preset or on the performance switch in their new Click BIOS X. It also has a premium thermal design with a frozer and large heat sinks, with quality thermal pads and heat pipes for optimal efficiency. Many high speed connectivity options like 5 gigabits and 2.5 gigabit LAN ports, lighting USB 40 gigabits, full Wi Fi 7, front USB Type C with 27 watt PD charging, 2 Gen 5 M.2 slots, and 2 PCIe Gen 4 M.2 as well. There's also a lot of USB ports on the back with 9 USB Type-A high-speed 10 gigabit ports and 4 USB Type-C ports including the ones with USB 4 gigabit support. There's also the Audio Boost 5 package for an immersive audio experience. This motherboard also supports an 8-layer server-grade PCB material with 2 ohms copper and a supplemental PCIe power plug at the bottom which gives auxiliary power to PCIe devices possibly for a multi-GPU configurations that will be used in AI computing. MSI also makes the PC building and troubleshooting experience much easier with their easy DIY feature suite. First is their easy M.2 installation with their easy magnetic M.2 shield frozer 2 heatsink and the easy M.2 clip 2. Here, all you have to do is to insert the SSD into the slot, press it down or lock with the clip, making it tool free. There's also a tool included to remove the clip or reposition it according to the size of your M.2 drive. There's also the easy PCIe release feature which makes large PCIe devices removal easier as it utilizes a much more accessible push button which eliminates the risk of damage when trying to remove a big GPU from the PCIe slot. Easy switch, which in this case is a switch for turning all LED on and off on the motherboard in just a single click. Easy buttons located at the back I.O. port such as the smart button which is reprogrammable in the BIOS and also the flash BIOS button and clear CMOS buttons. Also in this motherboard is the easy antenna for the easier attachment of Wi-Fi antenna to the motherboard by just fastening it and eliminating the need of rotation. Easy debug with LEDs for much easier troubleshooting. Easy overclocking which makes overclocking much accessible through MSI's Click BIOS X and easy optimization which makes use of the MSI Center application with AI engine for smart, real-time optimization on your PC. The newly redesigned Click BIOS X is also present here, which I like since it offers an aesthetically pleasing and user-friendly experience. I think it's streamlined and responsive and could be great for users with varying levels of experience. So even a first-time user could get used to it easily. It looks modernized and application-like compared to the UEFI BIOS that we previously have. So I hope to see more of this not just only here on the high-end segment but also to the lower-end ones para mas maging madali ang pagka-configure ng BIOS. In Inside it, there's an easy mode and advanced mode for those who wants to configure every parameter available as well as customizable options for the CPU, NPU, and memory. The easy config below which has some parameters including the one for the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive which you can use to change the CPU's behavior and also memory try it which gives some overclocking presets as well for the memory other than XMP. And speaking of the CPU, we also have here the new AMD Ryzen 7 9700X for us to test this motherboard. For those who don't know, this one of the AMD's newest CPUs, featuring Zen 5 architecture and this one has total 8 CPU cores and 16 threads. 
with a max boost clock of 5.5 GHz and 3.8 GHz space. There's no cooler included in this one, so we'll be using a 360mm AIO aftermarket cooler on our test bench. For the other parts, we've used the Kingston's Fury Renegade DDR5 7200 megatransfer per second, 48GB kit, running at 6000 megatransfer per second. We tried booting it at 7200, but it didn't post or boot, so we managed to do it with 6000 frequency. We've also used Radeon 7900 XTX for the GPU, 2TB NVMe for the boot drive and games, as well as 850W power supply and Windows 11 Pro build 24H2 for the operating system. With that said, let's move on to the benchmarks. So here, we've tested some games as well as few synthetic applications for us to see how this new hardware combo performs between the presets of PBO enabled and disabled. There's no comparison with any other hardware in the results, so we'll just show what we got.
So that's it for the benchmarks and also the quick review of the MSI MBG X870e Carbon Wi-Fi Gaming Motherboard. In my opinion, this motherboard could be one of your best choices if you are looking to build a new system with an AMD Horizon 9000 series chip on it with its many features and impressive design. VRM temps are quite good. This motherboard can easily handle multiple PBO configurations without a sweat. And it seems MSI Premium Thermal Solution is working pretty well here. In terms of benchmarks between PBO enabled and disabled, we've noticed a significant increase in scores in synthetic benchmarks like Cinebench R23. So this will reflect a significant increase in performance, especially in multi-core workloads. But in gaming, there's only a few FPS in difference. So you may want to tinker with the other presets or settings and check what's best in terms of performance there. Also, buy any of the following MSI X870 or X870e motherboards and get a free copy of the new role-playing game Metaphor Refantajo. Promo runs from October 11, 2024 to November 25, 2024 only.